Jesus Christ, really? Don't forget to become a member of Unrelent Gaming's Patreon for exclusive manga content and early access. Isn't that right, Seth? I already joined his Patreon today. Tons of great stuff on there, actually. But did you really have to blow up the city? Mm, yes. You blew up the domino. You blew up the domino and you're laughing. Do you realize the f***ing crisis here? And you will be next. Unless you subscribe, like the video, and turn on notifications right now. Or else what? You'll aggressively scream another man's name for several hours? Kakarot! Kakarot! And so now, the time has finally come. This is the very moment that we've been training you for, Goku. If you truly hope to win against the five strongest in the multiverse, then you must use everything you've learned against them if you want to win. The power you seek lies deep within you. If there is any other time that calls for you to combine the nature of your powers and fuse them into one, then that time is now. Good luck, Goku. You're going to need it. As our story continues with Mastered Ultra Instant Goku now being shown seconds away from fighting against the fifth strongest in the multiverse, Budo, as with both warriors now shown waiting on the Grand Prix signal to start, it was only upon now being shown having to do so where Goku went on to comment, This is everything that I've prepared myself for against the five of you. Every drop of sweat, every breath I took, and every obstacle that stood in my way was all for it to lead me to this very moment right here. I cannot fail now now and so I won't, Goku says. I've got to know for sure if this is all that there is for me and I won't stop until I find out if I have what it takes to stand among the best. It's all come down to this, Goku continues, and so now it's time that I reveal to you my all. I'm ready, Goku says, with the Grand Priest chiming in. Fighters, on my signal, you will fight to your heart's content and prove to the other on why you belong. And now then, Saiyan Warrior Goku and 5th Ranking Strongest in the multiverse, Budo. Are you both hereby ready? With Budo responding, I am going to break you in more ways than one, in the most painful ways imaginable, and when I do, you will then come to realize that there are just some storms that you cannot possibly overcome. I'm ready. With the Grand Priest responding, and with both fighters now ready, let the tournament of the strongest in the multiverse begin! To which, that was when Goku was shown having to not waste a single second and by from there being shown firing a blast directly at Budo, to which upon Goku now being shown having to do so, that's when Whis went on to say to himself, No, please don't make me regret training you, Goku. Remember the strategies that we went over in the chamber. As Goku went on to say to himself, Let's test something out then. Here goes. As with the blast now being shown getting ever so closer, that's when Yoshido went on to add, Look how cocky Budo is by showboating out there already. How typical of him. To where as soon as Goku's blast was then shown making contact and strong striking Budo directly, that was when Akuma went on to chime in, that all depends on what you mean, you know he's merely going to exhaust the Saiyan first before dismantling him, so this shouldn't take too long, with Yoshido responding, are you seeing these childish energy blasts, and look there, it doesn't look like the Saiyan's going to stop either, cheeky of him, wouldn't you agree, in which as we only then see with Goku now being shown firing multiple energy blasts with no signs of stopping, that's when Goku went on to say to himself, steady, he's got to respond, at some point, but when Goku questions, with the Grand Priest asking, and I will say, Whis, your protege here certainly appears to be much more refined than I remembered him being. Care to share any new secrets? With Whis responding, well, be that as it may for now at least, we will have to wait and see how this will go and find out if Goku can truly hold his own and win. Ah, uh, Budo's wasting his time, Akuma chimes in. He should just annihilate the Saiyan now and be done with it, but instead he's playing into what the Saiyan is 
attempting to accomplish down there. You mean as in baiting him, Yoshido questions? Of course the Saiyan's trying to bait him. But Budo is also doing the same thing. He wants to utterly humiliate the Saiyan right before ripping him apart. So just enjoy the entertainment while we have it, will you? As the very moment Goku from there was shown having to stop, that's when Goku went on to respond, yeah. So it's just like I thought, I can still feel his presence in the center of the ring. Which means that he didn't even bother to move upon getting hit just now. Uh, so I guess this rules out the conventional energy attack method then, since it now looks like that it did nothing. As it was only then, with Budo now being shown standing behind the smoke and not having to move whatsoever, that's when Budo went on to ask, that seriously couldn't have been your best now, was it? Though I will give you the benefit of just barely managing to improve, Budo adds, your energy attacks were more annoying than they were deadly, Saiyan. And here I was expecting more from you, especially since I let you make the first move on me. Especially since you let me? And what's that supposed to mean, Goku asks? And I wasn't expecting to drop you with any of those attacks, so I was just simply waiting for something upon them making contact with your body. And so I guess so much for that then, I suppose, with Budo responding, Right, so much for that then. Now since you want to play these little games and assume that I'm some kind of amateur, allow me to respond to your attack with an energy attack of my own then. And unlike you, you're definitely going to feel mine. Observe, Saiyan. To which the very second Budo was from there shown firing multiple energy blasts of his own, with Goku now being shown barely avoiding them, it was only upon now having to be shown doing so where Goku went on to respond, Ah oh, crap, these energy beams feel extremely dense. Oh, careful now, Goku. You cannot afford to be a sponge to such attacks out there, Whis chimes in. Your speed. Use your speed. Yes, good. Just like I told you, don't give in no matter how fast they are. But then, to Goku's unfortunate circumstance, as he was now being shown getting struck in the shoulder, that was when the Grand Priest went on to add, Oh goodness, that one looked as though it certainly hurt. He was able to catch Goku just as his body was avoiding danger, as Akuma went on to chime in, Oh, come on, Budo. I know you could have pierced right through his fragile little shoulder with that one. Don't make us tag you out and show you how it's really done down there. Oh, look, and there he goes. Swat that fly right out of the sky, Budo, Yoshido chimes in. Make the bug fly around for his life before crushing him, to which as Goku was shown doing exactly that, he was desperately trying to do his best in not getting caught by any of these blasts again as the Grand Priest went on to comment, Interesting, so I see that you were able to polish the Saiyan's counter methods in battle along with improving on his speed. Not bad. Though, do you think he will be able to be fast enough to avoid Budo's death rays with Whis responding, Oh, I certainly hope so, and he's not letting up on Goku with this one either. Whoa, Goku utters, these things are all over the place. I've got to try and create a bit of distance between us. But then, once again, just before Goku was shown having to do anything, he was only from that point then being shown struck in the leg, as he was now sent tumbling on down with more of these death rays having to approach him as Goku went on to shout, Oh no! In which upon the moment of impact with each of these death rays now being shown crashing right into Goku, that's when Yoshido went on to chime in. Oh, and there he goes! Look at that! There's no way the Saiyan's walking away from shots like those! No, he's done, and the Grand Priest might as well count to ten. Oh, how very interesting, the Grand Priest says. Tell me, Whis, you don't happen to believe that the Saiyan has been bested this quickly in battle against Budo, do you? I'm rather intrigued to know your thoughts, with Whis responding, and I would only assume that Goku was able to somehow think of a counter by the time those blasts struck his body, so no, to which surprisingly enough, that was when Takiro went on to chime in by responding, he mirrored his energy by using clones as a scapegoat in order for them to take the attacks head on while the real version escaped. Oh, so I take it that you were able to see a little further into what Goku was up to? Oh, and I also take it, the Grand Priest chimes in, that this angelic version of the after image was done by also mirroring your tactic in battle as well, right, Whis? Crafty, I'll give him that, which from the smoke, as soon as we then see how multiple Gokus were now shown emerging, it was just upon Goku now being shown dashing towards Budo, where Yoshida went on to chime in, oh, very slippery of that Saiyan to use clones as a sponge to withstand Budo's beams, huh? It was, Akuma responds, but it obviously isn't going to get him very far. Even at his fastest, he's still far too slow to do anything that Budo won't already see coming. Watch closely, Yosh, as Budo went on to sense the real Goku by saying to himself, I can feel you, 
Saiyan. Do you really think that I don't already know what you're trying to do here, Saiyan? If you believe that you have any shot at throwing me off my game by using such a weak and predictable technique such as this, then you have another thing coming, as it was from out of nowhere where we then see how Goku had made his move in attacking Budo with Budo being shown blocking, it was just upon mid-strike of Goku having to do this where Goku went on to respond, eh, so you think you know what my next move is gonna be, is that it? Well then how come you didn't try and attack me after I rushed you, getting nervous? You wish I was, Budo responds, far from it. I didn't attack you because I already know that this isn't the real you. For example, Budo says, as he from there went on to use beams that were emanating from his eyes and piercing right through the clone Goku, that's when Budo went on to continue, just like that, I know exactly where you are. As it was only from out of nowhere where by no means Budo was shown bluffing because as soon as Budo was shown elbowing the real Goku from behind, it was just before wrapping his tail around Goku's neck where Budo went on to continue, you gave yourself away, Saiyan, you are moving far too slow for me not to find you. Did fear not fully sink its way into your confidence in order for you to realize the truth of this battle, Goku? There is nothing that you can possibly do that will change the outcome of this fight, Budo says. You will lose, no matter what it is that you go and try on me, with Goku responding, y you won't beat me that easily. As it was only from out of nowhere, surprisingly enough, with Goku being left with no other option, he was only then shown resorting and biting on down onto Budo's tail, in which had really now gone as far as to get everyone's attention as the Grand Priest went on to chime in, oh my word, well that was certainly a little unorthodox for someone to do in a fight, but it was smart, I will give the say in that, he says. Are you kidding me, Akuma went on to ask. We see it, but we still can't believe it. This say and bit you. He actually went along ahead and bit you. What an incredibly primitive yet genius counter. Not even you was expecting for that to happen. And look, he isn't letting go with Yoshido responding. Oh, how embarrassing to be bit during a fight as a means of surviving. Budo better not let that one go. To where as soon as Budo was then shown having to shake his tail violently and doing what he could to get Goku off of him, by no means at that point was Goku shown letting go as Budo went on to shout, Why, you desperate little greasy degenerate! Let go of my tail, filthy Saiyan! I said let go of me now! You little rat! Oh, now that does it! I'm ripping your head clean off your body! In which, shockingly enough, the second Budo had attempted in making contact with Goku's head, it was only just then to Budo's surprise where out of nowhere Goku had gone as far as to now vanish, with Goku responding, Now I got you! Ugh, wait a second, Budo says. That vessel just now was a clone. And I guess your eyes just weren't good enough, the real Goku responds. And I got you, now take this! In which with Goku now being shown having to fire upon the Kamehameha directly down behind Budo, it was right before the Kamehameha had gone as far as to make contact where Budo went on to utter, You're a fool, Saiyan. Oh, so the little worm was actually able to catch Budo within the moment with one of his signature attacks, Akuma responds. Oh, I told you all from the beginning, he's too loose out there with the Saiyan. Well, either way, Yoshido responds, you know it's not over, so even though he may have gotten Budo once with a minor inconvenienced attack, you know how Budo is, and I think things are about to get spicy down there, with the Grand Priest responding, oh my oh my, bravo Saiyan, that was quite the maneuver just now, you most definitely haven't lost your edge since the days where you participated in the Tournament of Power. Oh, indeed it was, Whis responds, and certainly would have worked on anybody else, but... Oh, I'm afraid this battle is still very far from it being over, I fear. In which, as Goku was now shown waiting, that's when Goku went on to respond, It's hard to get a read on him behind that wall of smoke down there, but I know he didn't move. Ah, uh, but even now, his energy feels completely different. Like it's all over the place, and I can't seem to get a lock on his spirit. Oh, uh, which means something's 
changed down there, but what, Goku asks, but then, it was only to Goku's surprise from out of nowhere through the smoke, a gigantic Kamehameha was then shown having to make its way towards him, with everyone now being shown patiently seeing this as Yoshida went on to comment, Oh, now the Saiyans got him going, I knew it! What did I say Budo was going to do, he asks, I called it right before this entire thing even started. Whoa, Goku shouts, just what in the world is that? Oh, damn it! Oh, that energy, oh, there's there's just no way, yes, sir. Oh, damn it, but it is, Goku says. That was my Kamehameha, but with destructive energy infused with it. Oh, I should have known. As unbeknownst to Goku through the smoke, we only from that point then see how a pair of arms were then shown sticking out in the Kamehameha pose as this individual went on to respond, Oh, the irony, Saiyan. I was beginning to wonder what that little attack of yours felt like. Is it me, Grand Minister, or are we sensing the same? Same thing coming from Budo, Whis asks, with the Grand Priest responding, Oh, if I can take a guess, I would say we are, he says. Budo has taken up a destroyer version of this Saiyan from another timeline. As to the horrifying shock of Goku through the smoke, it only now appeared as though Budo had now shapeshifted into a variation of Goku to which not only had gone as far as to become a god of destruction in another timeline, but that was when the god of destruction variation went on to respond, It was like I told you from the very beginning. I am going to break you in more ways than one. You should have remembered my ability to shapeshift into anything that I just so choose, and now I choose to fight as you. Fitting, wouldn't you say? This variation of the Sun Goku that I decided to morph into comes from a distant timeline where you became a god of destruction after Lord Beerus decided to retire, he says. Oh, now this should be very interesting, the Grand Priest went on to chime in. It's one of Budo's trademark abilities, and as I told Goku, Budo knows no bounds on who or what he can morph himself into, especially if he decides to use one's own history or even body against them. Oh, and I believe that he will attempt to use this Goku's power rather than his own, as he usually uses the power of the body he transformed himself into against his enemies, so this will be extremely fun to watch, he says. Well, now that Goku will be fighting himself, I'm sure you prepared him for this, right, Whis? With Whis responding, Oh, sadly I did, though I wasn't expecting to see Budo use a version of Goku against him so early, but, oh, this is where Goku's training will start to kick in, and so I truly hope he is ready for what's about to happen. As Destroyer Goku went on to respond, So how exactly do you want us to start this off, Saiyan? I told you that I would punish you and make you regret your decision of fighting us, didn't I? And so here I am, living up to my promise. So what's it going to be? With Goku responding, uh, wait, hold on a minute here. So you're going to be fighting me using an alternate version of my power from another timeline? And you have a destroyer's power merged with it? Well, that's not fair. Is that even allowed? Oh, great. And what makes matters even worse oh, is that I don't even know what this other me is capable of either. Well, now don't worry, because if you're wondering about the difference between your power and my power, then I will gladly show you on why we couldn't be any further apart. Time to bring the pain, Saiyan. To which all the while as this was happening, things are now beginning to take an interesting turn when going back into Universe 7, as we only just then carefully observe how Frieza and Cooler's ship was now beginning to make its way ever so closer to Earth, that was when Cooler went on to chime in, and so you're sure that's all you know? If these Saiyans are known for getting stronger, then how could you be so sure that they haven't gotten even stronger? stronger than when you last saw them, with Frieza responding, well, they likely did, but their puny ultra powers are no match for our newly evolved levels, especially since we now have the Potaras to fall back on in case we need to use them as well, with Cooler responding, then we'll waste no time and jump right into destroying all of them once we arrive, he says, I don't intend to risk my chances and not finish what we came here for, so once we find them, then we'll pair off and obliterate them before they have the chance to even fight back, with Frieza responding, well, even if they try, those disgusting little god monkeys will only be able to go so far. They're not alone on this planet, as you know. The others will surely come to aid them, and so I don't intend to keep them around any longer than they need to be either. We'll use them as bait anyways. We'll reserve our memorized fighting abilities that we've gained from the serum for when we need it, especially against those two.
to. Ever since injecting myself, he adds, I suddenly have this drive that is pushing me into battle more and more. Likely as a result from Vegeta and Broly's DNA, with Frieza chiming in, while I will hand it to you, you certainly have the gift of adapting much faster now in battle than I do, especially when considering what you have coursing through your system. However, do make sure that this animalistic sensation doesn't get the better of you. I of course wouldn't want you to lose your mind out there and explode in a fit of rage after all. So do try and remember who your real enemies are with Cooler responding, so as long as you don't try and make an enemy out of me, then you shouldn't have to worry about what I do out there, he says. Just make sure to not let that Goku's kindred spirit be your ultimate weakness in battle, with Frieza responding, oh how witty of you brother. Don't you worry, I could never find it within myself to ever be anything like that Saiyan monkey, even if I tried. Oh, but nevertheless, today will be their final day, Frieza continues. Both in this world and the next, I've longed to destroy the two of you, and after pushing me into actually trying, I will make sure that it's all worth the trouble. There will be no excuses to be made, no more interruptions, and there will be no more waiting. The two of you will die by my hand on this very day. You may have had your moment against me, but I will have the glory in the end. I fear no one, including you, and that fear is going to be my ticket home. I can feel it. Ah, but of course. Oh, how could I ever forget that dear old beloved blue rock they call home? It's been a very long time since I was last able to lay my eyes on it. Oh, and there it is, right over there, Frieza says, Earth. To where as they both were now finally shown having to arrive not too far away from the planet itself, we only from there take a look and seeing as to how both Cooler and Frieza were now shown exiting the ship as Frieza went on to continue, this here is their planet, the planet they've all claimed as their own after the destruction of planet Vegeta, the one planet they all call home. I have so many memories on this world, so many which have led to this very moment in time. Quite beautiful in a way, isn't she brother? It doesn't matter what this planet looks like, it's just another target in my eyes, Frieza. Oh, but of course, we've waited long enough enough, Frieza responds, and this too will either be sold for a profit or simply be destroyed, with Cooler pointing out, I'm sensing two energy signatures, one fair and one small coming from this location over there. So shall we move, with Frieza asking, oh, why wait, am I right? After you, big brother. Ha, <laughs> you're too kind, Cooler responds, let's go. To where the very second we then see how both Cooler and Frieza were now being shown having to make their way towards Earth, it was only upon them now being shown having to get ever so closer where Cooler went on to respond, There. Over on that tower, yes, I for some reason recognize this place. Oh, but of course, that's Kame's lookout, isn't it? Well, the serum seems to be serving you quite well, brother, because it is. Well, well, it looks like we have a few old friends waiting for us on that tower from what it feels like, Frieza says. Oh, and I would even dare say that one of them happens to be coming from that disgusting little Namekian Piccolo. Well, knock knock Namekian, we have some unfinished business to attend to. To where with Cooler and Frieza now being shown taking aim in making their way onto Kame's lookout, it was only right then and there during that moment where the Beyond Dragon Ball Super story of the top 5 strongest warriors in the multiverse manga chapter number 29 special then comes to a close. Now this is back because with Cooler and Frieza now being shown having to finally arrive on Earth, little do they know that Goku and Vegeta are nowhere near being present on the planet itself, as our heroes now are going to be set for a rude awakening once of course Cooler and Frieza end up touching down, to where all the while in the meantime Goku now seems to be stuck in facing off against Budo's ability to shapeshift into literally anything, including alternate versions of Goku, to where all of this and so much more is going to be coming to a head in the upcoming manga chapter which is 
that of manga chapter number 30, which will be made available first on my Patreon for all of my Patreon members to see. So if you want to go in ahead and be the first to check out all of my exclusive content, including gaining access to so much more, then for those who are unaware, I do encourage you all to become a member of my Patreon, patreon.com slash Gaming. The link to that will be located down in the description box below and pinned comment section as well, to where not only will you be able to see everything before anybody else, but also along with the other community members, you get to be a part of something that's ever so growing. So again, I want to thank each and every single one of you who are members of my Patreon because we were able to now go in ahead and add in additional pages to some of these chapters. So I really cannot wait to show you guys how everything is about to unfold because you can make no mistake about the fact that challenges will be issued along with people being tested now. So you can only imagine as to what is coming next, especially now with Frieza and Cooler going to Earth and with Goku now fighting against shape-shifting forms that Budo is beginning to now take up. So again, I want to thank you all so much for watching and more importantly, thank you all so much for your patience to where once again, if you just so happen to be new to this channel and of course love Dragon Ball, then be sure to head on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the gearbox icon so that way you guys never miss a single video that is posted onto the channel. On top of giving this video right now a big fat thumbs up by slapping that like button down below, tune back in for more and with that being said, thank you all so much once again and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you down in the comment section below and in the next video. Take it easy everybody and have a great day. Peace! Hello! Did you know that you can stay up to date with the latest Dragon Ball content by simply subscribing to Unrelent Gaming? Also, don't forget to follow on these social media platforms, you sexy son of a bitch. Roshi. Silent Cell, me and the fans are having a moment. That's right. I know what you want. Extra long, thick Dragon Ball content. Quality reviews with flawless editing. Yeah. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You dirty bitch. Roshi, the fuck? God damn it, I need them to subscribe, Cell. And we're demonetized. Yeah, screw it. Let's cut to the video. <laughs>